So if we have A, B, and C are angles of a triangle, prove that it becomes that. That cos 4A plus cos 4B plus cos 4C plus 1 is equal to 4, 4 cos 2A cos 2B cos 2C. So let's prove it from the left-hand side. From the left-hand side, we have that. So now we're going to apply factor formula to this. So applying factor formula there, we end up with that. So we have it becoming 2 cos cos. Okay, so this becomes that because the 2s and the 4s will reduce to that. All right, so now next we know that now let's convert this. So we know from angles of a triangle, we know that A plus B plus C is 180 degrees. So I'm going to multiply a 2 on both sides so that we have something that looks similar. So we know that now 2A plus 2B is 360 degrees minus 2C. So when you substitute that into the equation, substituting this back in, we have that so now applying rules of compound angles to this side we end up with that but now cos of 360 is positive 1 but sine of 360 is 0 so this disappears and then remain with a positive 1 so this becomes 2 cos 2 c all right so now after this we can now deal with this side so we know that again from double angles we know that cos 4c becomes that so next one it becomes that but now for this case we are dealing with uh we now are look, so when you look at this side we have a 2 cos 2c here so now we want to convert this in a format where we have we retain the cos 2c so now we're going to change this to have a cos squared 2c so when you change that we know that it becomes that all right so therefore this becomes this as you can see and now we can easily so you know that there is a minus 1 here and now this minus 1 plus this 1 that was already in existence, they all cancel, and then we remain with that. And now this becomes simpler to work with because we can now simply factorize out 2 cos 2c. So when you factorize that out of brackets, we remain with that. Okay. Now the, this is a bracket there. Alright, so now we're going to convert this. Uh, to have a double, I mean, I mean to have a an a a two a plus two b inside. So how do we convert that? We also know that from angles of a triangle that we have that now two c is the same as three sixty degrees minus two a plus two b. So therefore, when we substitute that back in where we have the cos two c, uh, we can see that we will have this expansion. Okay. So now applying the rules of double angles here, we can see that expands to that. And then uh, cos of 360 is positive 1, but sine of 360 is 0. So this part cancels, disappears. And now we end up remaining with cos 2a plus 2b. So this becomes that. So now we're going to apply factor formula to this side here. And then when you apply factor formula, we end up with that. So it expands to this. And now we, when we simplify that, we end up with that. And now this 4 and 2 reduce. And then when they reduce, we end up with that. But now this is again another example where there is a cos of a negative angle. Now the cos of a negative angle is always a positive. So we're going to ignore this negative sign. And then we'll end up with that. And hence we've proved our equation.